What is up everybody? It is heating season now, so it's time to service those boilers. First thing we do is change your oil filter. This is also applicable for oil fired water heaters as well. You'll have a filter for those too. Most of the time it's either at the tank as this one is or at the burner itself. To start off with, we take a 5 8 open end wrench and go after that bigger nut at the top. It's actually a bolt that ends up going all the way through to the bottom of the cup. Just keep loosening that. Eventually the seal will break and you will get oil that leaks out. So you're gonna want some kind of a catch basin below it. This one is very cruddy. I was talking to the woman after the fact and it's been well, the tank was installed in 2007 and she said that this is the first time the filter has been replaced so it is nasty um, you're going to want to clean that cup out there's going to be sludge and stuff in there and then grab your new filter typically i use these westwood f1048 universal filter cartridges the cartridge just fits in the cup nicely this particular package also comes with a gasket for sealing the cup to the head. So you'll put the new gasket on the cup just like so. Make sure you pull the old one off and then remove the bolt because there is also one more gasket that goes between the head and the bolt. So we'll take the new one, put that on there as well. And then we'll just make sure the head of the filter assembly is clean and that there's no sludge on there to interfere with the seal. Drop the bolt back down. You can also remove that catch pan at this point if it's in your way. Slide the cup on with the new filter and start tightening that bolt up. You want to use your hands at first just to make sure you're not cross threading or doing anything crazy like that. The filter is a little oversized, so there will be some crush factor. So you're gonna to wanna to get the open end wrench again and start socking that down. Don't go too much as you're gonna to want to be able to bleed the system. There is the small bolt that's right next to the big one. It is a bleeding bolt. The way I typically like to do it though, is just take a towel, place it underneath the cup and open it up before you fully tighten the cup down. This gets it nice and full pretty quickly. Uh, don't open the valve all the way, but just enough to purge all the air out of it. Remember the Firematic valves are reverse thread. So when you take that nut off, or put it back on, it's the opposite of what all nuts are typically. So instead of lefty loosey, it's righty loosey and lefty tighty. Once you've purged all the air out of it, you can then go ahead and tighten that top bolt down. Get it good and snug. It doesn't have to be super tight, just enough that it doesn't leak. And once you turn it on, if it does leak, you can always tighten it up just a little bit more. Wipe off the extra oil. Grab the handle for your Firematic valve and put that back on. Again, it is reverse thread, so bear that in mind when you're trying to fight with this. It can be a little tricky, especially when it's hanging upside down. Once you're done with this, the oil is back open. Go to the boiler, call a zone, tell it to fire, check your flame, and you should be good to go.